Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be breaking down the trailer for Episode 8. This is the mid-season finale. Episode 9 is going to be the crossover episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Supergirl came out last night, we did a review, you can check that out, that should be up right now on the channel. So we're going to be breaking this new trailer for the mid-season finale in this video. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer, we've got Supergirl at the DEO with Alex, and they are standing at the balcony, they're talking, and Alex is talking about Lena. So she says, we have to stop her, the safety of the world depends on it. So I'm presuming they're talking about Lena because this trailer is predominantly about Lena and so then Kara in reply says to Alex, making her sound like a Luthor. And then Alex replies, maybe it's because she is one. It's really all about to go down in this episode. Obviously, you know, I think Lena and everyone are eventually going to be fine and it's just going to be like this episode, maybe the next few episodes, they're going to be in a sort of quarrel. And, you know, I think they'll be sort of questioning how good Lena is or is she actually a villain? Which she seems like she freaking is <laughs> from last episode. So let's move on to talk about the next shot. So we've got Lena. She's looking up. It looks like she's outside. However, it could be inside her like base. I'm not really sure. I can't crack it down. But anyway, so we got the next shot. And there is a plan for something to destroy like these satellite beams and so yeah this is part of the episode and it's to do with Q waves as you can see on the top left side of it and it's related to National City. So we have Alex, she's talking to Kara, just a different angle from before and then we've got a shot inside the DEO and Kara is really surprised like her eyes are like fully open. Same with Alex in the background and Brainy. So something has happened with inside the DEO because they're actually looking towards like the balcony area. And then we move on to the next shot. The next shot of the trailer is of this car, it's crashing. And like this is, I believe the beam that's coming down from the sky and the car is exploding essentially. Okay, so we've got another angle of the shot from earlier. Alex and Kara arguing about, you know, is Lena good, is Lena not, should we trust her, blah blah blah. I don't think it's really trust, I think it's like, is she a villain or not. Okay, so we move on to the next shot. We've got the return, once again, of Lex Luthor, but this is in present day this time. So John Cryer's coming back, he is so good as Lex Luthor, and I'm really, really excited for this, and from where he's actually standing, and... You know, it's completely all black, it has a few speckles of blue, that's about it. You can infer that this is with the Monitor, because it's very similar to the appearance of when Oliver met the Monitor in Elseworlds, and, you know, we know that Lex is coming back for the crossover, and this is obviously going to answer it. Why was he revived? The Monitor definitely revived him, but what was the purpose? We're going to find that out in this episode, so it's very exciting that Supergirl is finally going to be involved in Crisis, obviously linked mainly from Lex Luthor, and I believe the Monitor's actually showing up in this episode, so that's a big thing because Supergirl has been really disconnected from Crisis, unlike Arrow and The Flash right now, so it's a big thing, super excited for the return of Lex Luthor in present day, very curious to see why the Monitor needs him alive. So we go on to the next shot, we've got Lena, so she's holding her revolver, that could have been the revolver that she used to kill Lex, I'm not sure, but it looks like a new shot, so maybe it's a new gun, maybe the same one, I don't know. But we've got Kara in the next shot, looking really distraught once again, obviously we left off last episode with Kara being trapped in the Fortress of Solitude with Lena's betrayal of her, and you know, she was engulfed in ice but also engulfed in kryptonite. So maybe it's a link to that. I think this is going to be like part of the ramifications of her being completely betrayed by Lena. And so, yeah, you can really see in Melissa's facial expressions that she is extremely sad and sort of distraught. So she's in the DEO. I'm not sure if she's like training or anything, but something's happening that is making her upset. We've got this shot of Lena sort of just looking kind of blank. And I think this is just a reaction to something she's done because she's doing some very cold-blooded things right now. And I think this links to the next shot, which is the kryptonite cannons are armed. And this is part of the diagram, which it seems like 
she's going to be actually targeting at Kara because in the next shot you can see there is a sort of crosshair pointing at Supergo in the sky. So what is going on here? It seems to be like this is actually Lena pointing it because you can see from the next one we've got the same screen, Supergo's in the air, the ion ray cannons are armed so she's going to be firing them at Supergo and this is Lena actually controlling this from I think it's in her lab and so yeah she's aiming at Supergirl. I'm not really sure as to what she's trying to do. I'm guessing it's power dampening or it could actually be, you know, trying to actually kill her. But last episode, she seemed to be against that. But now she's pointing these sort of kryptonite cannons or ion ray cannons at Supergirl. So I don't know. Let's move on to the next shot. So the next shot is of Supergirl. She's in the same place. It's in the sky. It's a sort of medium shot on her and she's talking to Lena somehow and she's saying Lena don't do this so yeah for some reason Lena is you know full-on trying to attack her kill her whatever she's trying to do something with very nefarious intent obviously she snapped last episode she revealed all and you know she's going to use the myriad device in some way or another because she stole that from the fortress so she's going to be trying to control people, you know, turn them into zombies and such. And obviously she's still got Leviathan on her back and everything like that. But she's also got the threat of Supergirl because what's she going to do with Supergirl? Is she actually going to try and kill her? Like, what is her main objective? I'm not too clear on that. But anyway, so we've got Lena, we've got Hope. And I'm guessing that Hope is going to be revealed like pretty soon to the rest of the team that Eve is not there anymore, that Hope has been taken over and I think that will make them snap a bit. But also the weird thing is we know from the photos from Crisis in Supergirl's episode in a couple of weeks time for episode 9, we know that Lena is going to be working with Alex in some way or another. So is it all going to be resolved by then? I think that might be a bit rushed. But we'll have to wait and see as to why they're working together. Maybe it's just like they have to do it for the fate of the universe and they're never going to work together again or something like that. But anyway, so let's move on to the next shot. This is a continuation from that shot before with Supergirl flying and hovering in the sky trying not to get shot by Lena. And so Lena presses the button. And I'm thinking maybe the Kryptonite Cannon is actually linked towards, you know, the Myriad device that she's got. Maybe she's trying to send it out into space and disperse it all over National City or, you know, all over the world or wherever they want to do it. So maybe it's Supergirl blocking her from doing that. Like, maybe it'll shoot right at her if she attempts to do that and maybe this is going to be like a test of their friendship or something like that. So I think that is kind of logical that that could happen. Also, the episode title was called The Wrath of Rama Khan, so he's going to be back this episode. I thought he was like pretty good last episode, I wasn't too impressed. Obviously we have the other Leviathan Lady and all the other members who are yet to be revealed, but you know, last episode was very Leviathan heavy, so that's obviously going to be a big focus going into the mid-season finale because, you know, we're going to have Crisis, go on the break, we'll come back, and then I reckon Leviathan is just going to continue on from there. And you will get bigger threats than Rama Khan, who is pretty damn strong. However, he is obviously not the massive opponent that we've been waiting to see all this season long. So I think Leviathan is going to have a few more tricks up their sleeve towards the end part of the season. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you are new. As we try to reach 100,000 subscribers, we're about 400 subscribers away. So share this video around, share it on social media, share it to your friends. And also if you got Twitter, go follow me over there because I'm currently doing a Supergirl giveaway for some Supergirl posters that I've got and I'm going to be sending that off to four lucky winners. So please be sure to go over there and follow the rules to enter that giveaway. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.